Well, shooters and reloaders, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And today we're going to go ahead and do some more powder coating. And we're using colors that are not seen on YouTube. Now, I know some of you out there may have used these colors, but until we can get the data out there, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So, what we have here is Eastwood Medium Green Powder Coat. And also, Eastwood Sea Foam Green Powder Coat. Now these powder coats are not that expensive. They're in the usual range for prices, not the high end. And you can go to the Eastwood website and find out the exact cost. I'm doing this for two reasons. One again is the sea foam green and medium green are not powders that have been done on YouTube videos so let's go ahead and and put these videos out there the other reason is that I haven't done any green all this time so it's about time we try to the, the uh, green types of powders and do some exploration now our friend loads of bacon has already done the lime green and I recall that there's some video out there that used the neon green but not the medium green and not the seafoam green so here we go now as you can see we're gonna do our 200 grain round nose flat point 44 caliber Lee bullets and look at how sharp those castings are in terms of the corners and the grease grooves and all this kind of thing so we'll give you a look at these bullets before we powder coat them so you can see the difference between before and after. Now as you know, I like to use a vibratory tumbler to coat the bullets with powder. But a lot of you out there have been using the plastic jugs and I use them also beforehand and got good results until they, the uh, system failed me one time and it was terrible how it failed. It didn't coat the powder at all. But let's go ahead and give it another try now with these Eastwood green powders. We'll start with the medium green. Now Eastwood provides these heavy plastic self-sealing bags. So I'll just go ahead and pour a little bit of powder into the jug and we'll show the tumbling. So just a little bit of powder. There you go. That's not a whole lot. We'll put this off to the side and then we'll add the bullets. Now we'll cork that up and give them a tumble. We'll do that for about 40 seconds or so off camera. Okay, now into the preheated oven it goes. like so for 20 minutes now as you can see there wasn't much powder left over from that tumbling now we'll repeat with the sea foam green the sea foam green is a fairly light colored green and our experiences with light colors is not good I'm actually not expecting very good results with the seafoam green. However, look at that. That coated very well, that seafoam green. Maybe, just maybe, we've got a good one here also. Now, this coating occurred with only about 30 seconds of tumbling. Hand tumbling. So when the hand tumbler works, it's the way to go. So now we're going to take those bullets out of the oven and water quench them. Now I know that some don't water quench and you have your option of doing that or not.
Here we go. Just to maintain the hardness and not lose a little bit. So here's our production. This is the medium green by Eastwood. And they're all nice and dry. And if I hold them up like this, you can see how good those are. How nicely detailed the grease grooves and the sharp edges of the bases. This kind of thing. The good coverage with a light, thin coating. We like the medium green by Eastwood. But here comes the surprise for the day, and that is the Seafoam Green by Eastwood. I expected this to not work that well because we've had trouble with the light colors in the past. But here they are, all dry. And you see I highlighted some of them with my blend of purple. But the raw Seafoam Green are these over here. Very impressive. Good coverage. The powder flashed over when we put it in the oven to bake. So any little discrepancies just flashed over and produce a very nice, thin, good coating on the bullets so that it allowed all the detail to come out. And yet we've got good powder coating. And this is the highlight using the purple. So, shooters and reloaders out there, Eastwood medium green and Eastwood seafoam green are good colors for any shooters wanting to use greens. We already know from loads of bacon that the lime green is also very good. So I use the roll method to get my highlights and Loads of Bacon does the sprinkle method. Both seem to work very nicely and it's up to you to try either way or develop your own system to do highlights if you like. But uh, there you go. So between Loads of Bacon and uh, my own channel here, we're trying to cover quite a few of the Eastwood colors so that you don't have to do any experimentation on your own. You already know when you buy an Eastwood powder what you're going to get. We've done the testing for you, so good powder coating to you. Bye for now.